This is your CBS 46 News Update. Good evening, I'm Sean Gable. CBS 46 is your vaccine team. Pfizer moves ahead with plans to eventually vaccinate children as young as five. The company submitted data supporting the idea to the Food and Drug Administration. Last week, Pfizer shared data from a trial that showed its vaccine was safe and created antibodies for children ages five to 11. A man uses a bow and arrow to carjack a woman in Atlanta. It happened early this morning on West Peachtree Street. A woman told police a man shot an arrow into her windshield, demanding she get out. That same man was eventually found in Marietta near Powder Springs and Marietta Parkway, where police shot him after they say he pulled out the bow and arrow again. The suspect is currently undergoing surgery. Today marks two months since Katie Janess and her dog Bowie were found dead in Piedmont Park. According to police, the two were brutally attacked. We checked with Atlanta police. Despite weeks of investigating, police have yet to identify any suspects in this case. There is still a $20,000 reward for anyone with information that could help solve the killing. And PETA now offering a $5,000 reward to find people who stole turtles. The five turtles were taken from the Autry Mill Nature Preserve in Johns Creek. Three suspects were caught on camera, taking them out of their enclosures after hours. In Georgia, you do need a license to keep these specific turtles as pets. Call Johns Creek Police if you know anything. And a controversial cannon could possibly be removed in Decatur. The Indian War cannon dates back to 1906 and to the Daughters of the Confederacy. DeKalb County Commissioner Ted Terry introduced the resolution to remove the cannon in Tuesday's meeting. Terry says many people want it removed because of the history behind it. The final decision was made. Wednesday and Thursday will be the warmest days of the week. It will stay dry, lots of sunshine. Highs will be in the upper 80s. In the morning, low 60s, 80 by lunchtime, with a high of 87 degrees on Wednesday and Thursday. Slightly cooler this weekend, but we'll keep it dry. Only a 10% chance of rain on Sunday. Then we see higher rain chances by Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday of next week. This has been your personal news update from CBS 46 News.